you ever gone through something so difficult you didn't think it was possible for you to succeed? Have you ever had a scar so deep you thought, I'm never going to heal from this? Or looked at yourself in the mirror just hated the sight of a certain body part. Or thought, I don't know who I am anymore. My injury took away my identity and I will never find my identity ever again. Fear. Fear is so paralyzing. Fear paralyzed me more than my injury. It drove my life and I was tired of it. So now, I want to do things I've never done ever before. Push myself to new limits to see what is possible. You find new things to be thankful for. Oh, well, it's Monday, and um, today is all about trying new things and not letting fear guide your life. Um, I did that for a long time, and as soon as I got rid of that mentality of being fearful and not doing it because of fear, that's when my life got a lot better. So I'm going to try some things that I haven't done ever at Lake Powell, and we're going to see how that goes. It might be a fail, it might be a success, but we will see. So I'm about to go on my walk. and. There's a couple things I wanted to go over before going on my walk. These are valuable, like the lessons that I'm trying to um, teach are valuable and I'm still trying to learn, you know? So I would like to go into transfers. Um, one of the most valuable less things that you can learn is doing a floor to wheelchair transfer and I'm not just saying you know do it once I want you to be confident in your floor to wheelchair transfer um, if you can become confident in it if I can do it anyone can that's a paraplegic now quads it's a little differently different but I've seen quads that can come pretty dang close to it or do it from the floor to the couch or, you know, their own way. But um, if you can get confident in it, you can go out and not worry. You, you can put yourself in situations and not worry. Well, what if there's no one around that can help me? Oh, no. You don't need no one around because you can do it yourself. Um, and that's huge. That helped me feel a lot more like when I go out and I want to stay at a hotel. If I want, I can do any kind of transfer I want. I can do anything I care to do. You know, and it all started with the floor to wheelchair transfer because that is completely different from just a, you know, chair to wheelchair transfer. Um, so, you know, it's just, and you can't just get into it and break a routine, you know? So that gets in, gets really good at something they do it over and over and over and over and over again like just put yourself in a situation where it's like you know what after I stretch you know what I'm gonna do 
I'm not gonna transfer onto the couch first. I'm gonna use the floor and transfer into my wheelchair. Um, that way, you know, guys, I mean, we all get taught it. We all have to know how to do it. There's several different ways of doing it and people choose the way that's best for them. So there's that. Um, just wanted to say that because let's say I, I go on a walk and I'm going with, you know, my mom or someone that isn't quite strong enough to lift me. I won't need persistence in that. I'll be able to put myself back in my own chair because that's what I want, you know? I, this is my protein shake that I'm drinking right before this this uh, this adventure. 400 calories, 60 grams of protein, and let's get it. Be beautiful. Very nice of you to say. Yeah, you are pretty. You're a very beautiful person, Fabio. Can you do a quote for me, please? It's, oh, dude, I'm gonna ruin it. It's not real butter. No, I can't believe it's not butter. I can't believe it's You're a butter. terrible impersonation of Fabio. Yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> awesome, all right, well, awesome, well. It flattens out. Where? Yeah, but it you just. You don't wanna try going a little bit further? I, they're helping me so much. I don't know. Just leave it. Out. Maria, you got a bug on you. Oh my Your gosh, leg. please get it off. There oh, it's, it's gone. Fly. It was just a fly. I couldn't see it from here. I just knew it was a bug. Um, well. Honestly, if you want to go further, I feel good. No, you don't. You're just saying. Good. You're just saying that you don't want me. You don't want me to feel like I'm luggage no, right now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right, well, so you, uh, another lesson. You will come to realize that when you are ready to do something, people are more than willing to help you on the most part. Like. So don't ever feel like you are, this is an experience and, and they're a part of it. And when it's important to you, you know, they can tell. So like quite the experience. So anyways. Have you ever came up with an idea you did that idea and it wasn't what you expected it was hard every time you move you just sink you just wanted to give up I spent my whole life giving up too afraid, too afraid to just finish something to see what would happen. But it's those things that you try, it's those adventures that you go on. Those moments of where you're uncomfortable, where you feel out of place, that really show you who you are, and you will slowly find that identity. You will find who you are again. You will find that you are someone you enjoy being around that you can actually love. And maybe there is a future for you. Just maybe there is hope. I'm not giving up. You shouldn't too.